clicking on our video and following what we're trying to offer here. I am here with my friend and coach, Simone Scott. She is a agility coach, very knowledgeable, right? She also has her own business too, and her and I have joined forces to bring a boot camp to you starting this May. Yes, please come out, join, it's gonna be fun. Yes. Um, so Simone, a uh, little background information, she was very competitive in college and high school, yep. right? You did sprints? Yes, I was mainly a sprinter and a jumper, but I did relays, I mean, you name it, I did it, so. She did, what was your best? My best event was long jump, mm -hmm. um, but hands down, 100. That's my baby, hands down. You can find her on YouTube, just saying. Stop it, those She's are not humble. my best times. Do not. What's your best time? Best. What's your best time? For the 100? Yeah. I was, oh my God, I think like 11, 6, 11, 5. And then my best long jump, I was, I was a 19 foot long jumper. And I'm oh. only 5'1", people. 5'1". Five 5'1". Five one. <laughs> And then from there, she, you were you're kind. Of, she's a mentor actually, and yeah. she was guiding high school. Yep. That college. Yeah. So out of college, I worked for a mentoring program, kind of like Big Brother Big Sister. Mm -hmm. um, so I worked with at risk youth, and I was working with, you know, any kids from age six to eighteen um, who just needed help, needed a mentor. So mm -hmm. it was my role to match them up with their mentors mm -hmm. and. You know, it was great, I loved it, but I wanted sports, so it yeah. kind of merged the two. So now I'm training youth athletes as well as adult athletes, but at the same time, I'm also mentoring them through life. You know, any issues that they may have, you know, the college process, recruiting, all of that. So, you know, I get best of both worlds now. Yeah, so then actually reach out to me. I have people who want it better the running technique. I'm like, well, I'm not that. But I have someone for you, and vice versa. She contacted me when someone had plantar fasciitis, so yeah. it's having hip flexor tightness, or their their gait was off. Yeah. I do the body corrections and strength training, so we, we really She's work. The best with us. <laughs> <laughs> so we work really well together, and I was like, man, most of these boot camps are going to have all different age groups here, all different fitness levels, and and believe it or not, different body mechanics and. You know, I want the best of the best to be here, and yeah. she just has the eye. So when. She's going to be going over agility today, and um, when you're doing your hills and you're doing your circuit training, she can see your movement pattern and, yeah. you know, ankle, hip, knee, this is, she's the one, you know? Yeah, it's, it's all about body placement, right. you know? It's the same thing with a lifting program. There's mm -hmm. form and technique when it comes to squatting or yes. bench pressing, you know? The same mm -hmm. thing with running. A lot of people think that, oh, it's just running. It's not. There's mm -hmm. a lot that actually goes into it and there's a lot of injuries that can be, injuries that can be prevented if mm -hmm. you just put your body in the right alignment, you know? And right. agility training is a great way to train your body mm -hmm you know, to just naturally do that on its own. Right. Um, and it doesn't have to be just athletes. I mean, this is anyone, any walk of life, it will help you. Right. So we really just want to create a boot camp where it's not just a boot camp that are gonna throw you through workout and make you feel good. We actually want a purpose to this boot camp and protect you at the same time. So we, we're gonna do agility training and you're gonna be doing it twice a week. Yes. <clears throat> and we just wanna have, you know, someone like Simone, who is going to put you through a program that makes sense. It's not overtraining the body. It's right. not putting stress on the, on the joints. Right. And you are able to learn. We want to teach you. Yes. Specifically, yes. we're going to have a bunch of people there, but we want to make it as individual, individual, individualized individual is, yeah. as yeah. possible. And um, if we don't have time, we're going to pull you aside and we'll, we'll teach you. So Absolutely. I always tell my athletes, if I'm not talking to you, it's a good thing. If yes. I'm talking to you, it's because we're fixing things. Yes. So silence is good. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. But, you know, Kristen's right. This isn't a one-size-fits-all. And that's right. what I love about agility and circuit training, mm -hmm. what we're bringing to the boot camp. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, we're all doing workouts, but it's going to be at your at your own pace. Right. You know, whatever your body can handle, how your body handles it. And right. we're there just to guide you in making sure that you're doing the right thing for your body. Exactly. You'll have at least two coaches at all times yes. for this boot camp because I'll make sure you get the special attention that you guys deserve. Yes. Um, so... I have her on, I'm happy she's here, <laughs> right? Yeah. So we're gonna answer your questions or what I feel like you guys should know going into this boot camp. And the first question is, what is agility? We're bringing it up, we don't know what it is. What is it? Right? What is it, right? Oh. So agility is pretty much just, um, just being nimble, mm -hmm. nimble, you know? It is your body's ability to be quick, to be fast, to be agile mm -hmm. while maintaining control. That's it. That's all it is. It's control of your body, getting yep. your body in the proper position mm -hmm. while in movement. That's all it is. Yep. And yeah, right? So what, what's like, what's the benefit of agility training? What is? 
So there's mm -hmm. lots of be benefits to it. Um, yeah. But first, you know, that's agility, but agility training. Oh. Okay, so just in case you're wondering what kind of exercises go into that, you know, we have cone work, line work, drill work. So it's lots of fast feet movements, moving mm -hmm. with your feet. You know, you're building a connection with your mind and your body. Right. You know, I know lots of times, you know, you go through life and you're telling your body to do one thing, your body's like, I don't feel like it, you know, so it's creating that connection that's not that, you know, between your synapses. Um, but what usually do with the training, like you said, cone work. Yeah, so it's lots of quick bursts of energy. Yep. Um, you know, it's not, it's endurance work, but not in the sense of like, okay, we're going out and running 10 miles. No, absolutely not. You know, if anything, it's going to be 20 to 30 meters max, um, if anything, but it's hill workouts. Um, it's plyometric stuff. So lots of jumping, you know, um, high knee work. There's so many different variations. Um, and if you're wondering what's more, just come to the boot camp and find out. <laughs> if people only hear jumping, you, you freak out like, I can't jump high, or I got knee problems. Yeah, no. Like, we, how you handle that? So, like I said, it's not, it's not one size fits all. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in the beginning, it's just how high can you jump? You know, it's just simple, think I'm um, like jumping rope, mm -hmm. just simple ankle hops, right. you know? And if you want to take it to the next level, great. I'll give you like a little hurl. It's maybe mm -hmm. six inches off the ground and now we're doing six inches, you right. know? And if you want to be on that Olympic world cast level, I will gladly give you a five inch cross <laughs> and we'll start doing that, you know? Right. But the beauty of it is, it doesn't matter how high you're jumping, mm -hmm. it's just jump. You know, get your ankles moving. Right, just on the technique of it. Because you don't want to be in pain. We're not here to create pain on your joints. And no. if you have that, we modify. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Why turn you down? Yes. The whole point is, is to teach you guys how to have an intense workout right. without pain. Now, don't get me wrong. You will be sore. But there's yes. a difference between being sore and there's in pain. Yes. You know? And we're trying to get you to like that good, that good sore, mm -hmm. you know, without having the injuries. You know, so actually that's part of the benefits of yes. agility training. It is injury preventing. Mm -hmm. And if you're wondering how that prevents you from having injuries, um, it just goes back to the whole body alignment. Mm -hmm. A lot of the injuries that occur, you know, be it sports related or, or just in the office, walking to your mailbox, you know, it's because your body falls out of alignment. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a misstep. You know, you go to take a step down from, from the stairs or whatever, you roll your ankle, your body's out of alignment, you know? If you're lifting in the gym, right. you're taking a squat, and you just forget to put your hips in that certain spot, right. there goes your back, you know? It's body alignment. Right. So, you know, agility training helps train your brain to put your body in that natural, you know, body position, body mm -hmm. posture to help you um, not hurt yourself. Yes. You know, it helps with your balance, it helps with your flexibility. It, all walks of life, they just help, you know, mm -hmm. anywhere you go. Mm -hmm. So, so making that so agility, agility training, yeah, and the benefits of it, and mainly injury preventative. Yes. Movement awareness. Yes. Yep. Um, Body awareness, <clears throat> balance, flexibility. And she says it's for you, you say it's everybody. Everyone. Yes, everyone. So it's not just your football players, mm -hmm. your soccer players. It's anyone. It's your average Joe. You know, if you're a postal, um, you know, off a uh, postal service, if you're in the postal service, you mm -hmm. deliver mail. Sometimes they're not in the, the cars driving, you are walking, you know? Or if you're a teacher and you're constantly on your feet, if you are in the medical field and you are constantly on your feet, all of these things will help you. Believe it or not, there's even technique in the walking. You yeah. know, how to strike and put, uh, for lack of a better word, your, your load, your body load right. on your feet. Right. You know, it will help with that lower back pain that you may have. Mm -hmm. If you have an office job and you're sitting in a chair, you know, posture, mm -hmm. your shoulders, mm -hmm. you know, everything. So don't think that, you know, oh, well, I'm not an athlete or I never was an athlete. Like, this isn't for me. No. If you are a human being mm -hmm. and you have a functioning body, mm -hmm. this is for you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yep. I'm mm -hmm. prepared to, to guide you any way we can. And I'm big on the body mechanics. So if you have questions, I love it. This girl. Ask, please. This girl. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, they actually did a study on it too, um, with the whole mind-body connection that we're mm -hmm. referring to, mm -hmm. you know, teaching teaching your body to become, you know, just one unit, mm -hmm. your mind and your body one unit. And people who actually did, uh, I think it was with the military, um, so individuals who went through just like your basic boot camp military style, you know, just like jogging, jumping jacks, yeah. burpees, what you classically think about boot camps, mm -hmm. yes, they're endurance, 
you know, increased over, you know, the six week program, mm -hmm. but for the individuals that they actually went through agility training, you know, so footwork, hill work, mm -hmm. all that, all that stuff, stuff mm -hmm. that requires your, your brain, your mind to fire and tell your body like, Hey, I need to move here very quickly. You know, they actually saw increased, um, increased levels and in not just endurance. Mm -hmm. Okay. But in their reaction time. All right. in their balance and their coordination, you know, it just teaches your mind how to fire quick. It's not yeah. just your body, it's your mind. Mm -hmm. How to solve problems quickly, mm -hmm. you know? So it, it helps everyone. Yeah, absolutely helps everyone. So we're really, so honestly, like, it's like strength training too. It's the same thing that I try to do. It's same with agility. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, I love, I love it. I often say that agility is pretty much just cross training for every other sport. <laughs> and it's true. Every other sport, this is what they do. It's cross training, mm -hmm. you know, it's, Finding different ways to um, load your body and challenge your body without getting hurt, without having to put those extreme loads on that you usually do during your other workouts. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a great, it's a great mix up. Mm -hmm. It's a great mix up. And plus, we're gonna be doing a uh, fit test on your first day. Yes. That fit test was made between yourself, myself, and um, and Lynn. Lynn. Yes. Yep. So. Um, you're going to be doing that fit test again in the end of boot camp. I'll be doing body fat testing as well, so I'll be there. Mm -hmm. And you should be able to see a change in your speed, in your coordination. Yeah. Your body mechanics. Recovery time. Recovery time. Yeah. All these things in your fitness, your first fit test is going to be, is going to be tested, right? And yeah. we're going to be do documenting it. And so you guys can see and feel the difference for yourself. Yes, yeah. I mean, that's the only way um, we realize if we're growing. We need to have that benchmark. Yes. Right? And once we set that benchmark and realize mm -hmm. not one size fits all. Yep. So someone's bench might be here, 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 here. It yeah. doesn't matter. It's your bench. Run your own race. Mm -hmm. Do what's best for you. Mm -hmm. You know? So set your own bench. Yep. And then we will help you bring it to the next level. Yes. Wherever that level is. Yes. So yeah. leave the ego out the door. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> and let your fear go. You're in good hands. Yeah. Right? Yes. Just tell Anything me. else you like you wanna share about that they should know? Um, I mean it's just it's a really really fun time. I can't yeah. stress that anymore, you know, and it's it's for everyone. So meaning, you know, you have that one crowd who loves going to the gym and being inside and four walls and lifting weights. And then you have individuals who would rather be out and moving. So like the type that says, I would rather go play pick up soccer or, or like a play a frisbee game and work out. Well, that's agility training. Yes. You know, you're getting the benefits mm -hmm. of, you know, lifting weights and having that strength, you know, but then you're also getting that competitive side where it's also kind of a, a game and you're yeah. outside and you're moving and, you know, it's like you're working towards a, a goal, you know, or it's just, it, yeah, it's everyone. It's everyone. Every single mindset is within this type of training. Mm -hmm. You will not be bored. I will tell you that right no, now. No, you're in good hands. Yeah. So if anything, we just, to sum up today, um, is... Our, our key points would be that agility is really good for body mechanics, body awareness, body alignment, and, and uh, joint pain. Mm -hmm. It's also going to teach you uh, your fitness level, where you're currently at. Yep. It's going to teach you how to train going forward, because you're not just going to leave this boot camp and say, well, I lost a lot of body fat, and I, well, I mean, it's a great benefit, and I lost weight, and well, my heart rate is up. You're yep. going gonna to not, you're going to see bad form. You're going you're gonna to learn what's wrong and what's right and you're going to be able to understand your own body it's exactly. like this is a feel right why and knowing that you're off right. and she's really good at that um yes and at the same time she, you see, we've been it's been weeks of programming for us weeks yes so we want to make sure that it is the right program for you guys mm -hmm. absolutely it's long weeks you know yeah we want to make sure that you're Recovery times are improving. We want to make sure that you know you're going to see results, mm -hmm. and, you know, faster than than you usually would mm -hmm. because you know it's agility training, but it's also it's hit style um, training. And for those of you who don't really know what hit training is, I mean, Kristen, you might be able to talk a little bit more about the that. high intense training. Yeah, yeah. short bursts, um, a certain recovery time, and ballistic motions. It's it's. You, you go all out for a certain amount of time and then you have that recovery time, yeah. enough recovery time to go all out again. And then come back. And then come back. back. And that's the, yeah. like, at the top of my head, that's the yeah. best way Pretty I can explain it. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah. And that's great putting your body into a metabolic uh, fat burning stage too. Yes. So you'll lose 
body fat that way, but still maintain your muscle mass because yes. it's such a short burst. Yes, yes, and that's the so, beauty of it because then it's like um, what we were saying before about just a natural body state, mm -hmm. you know? It helps you get to just your natural strength and a natural alignment and to become one with yourself naturally. Yeah. You know? So, so we really appreciate you guys you know, clicking in, watching the videos, and taking the time to learn about what we're here to offer. And I will be also meeting with Lynn Bully, and I was meet up with uh, Reba as well to go over their benefit, what they're gonna bring to the Mood Camp as well. Yeah. And uh, again, I'll do one, well, I'll have to have someone interview me, because that'd be a little weird if I'm interviewing myself. But <sighs> if, if I have to, to I'll do it. And <laughs> uh, just like what each of us, uh, are, what our specialties are, what we're gonna bring to each Mood Camp. So you, have, you are confident what's going on. Um, with the next coming come upcoming weeks. Yeah. So if you are interested, it's it starts May second. Yes. Um, that's going to be our meet and greet, mm -hmm. and then May seventh is when we're kicking things off. It's yes. Every Tuesday and Thursday night at six fifteen, mm -hmm. um, and a six a six week program, and it's going to be fun. It's going to be progressive, mm -hmm. and we guarantee you mm -hmm. that you will see results, and that you know your life will just be happier. Yeah. So if you're interested, <laughs> please email me at Kristen at contrainfitness.com or put a comment below. Yep, below, right? And let us know and we'll send you all the information that you need to know about the fitness boot camps and we'll move forward from there. Yeah. Tell your friends, tell Please. your coworkers. Tell your friends and coworkers. <laughs> so in the meantime, stay healthy. Yeah, stay healthy. <laughs> <laughs>